Hey guys, it's Breeze here. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my Sony Vegas 13 on render settings. Now I've been using Sony Vegas for quite a while now and I think I finally found the render settings that suit me and my needs. Sorry about the phone. I'm going to quickly put that on mute. <laughs> but yes, today we're going to be setting up my render settings. I'm going to show you everything from my project settings, my audio settings and everything else. Even my uh, audio, my what my each of these... Uh, video tracks represents basically so yeah we're going to start off with the products properties uh, as you can see here i have a template pre-made youtube 1080p 60 fps now first thing you want to do make a new template is set the width and the height to whatever you're going to be recording at uh, i suggest 1080p because best one of the better qualities if your pc can handle uh, playing and recording in uh, 4k then I would suggest doing that because they look absolutely amazing but unfortunately I don't have the PC that can do it. I probably could but I don't have a monitor for that so unfortunately I cannot record or do any play any games in 10, uh, 4k unfortunately but yeah anyway set those two to 1080p best best thing to do for especially for YouTube and 60 FPS is a must if you are going to be posting onto YouTube it makes the videos look so much smoother and so much nicer obviously there will probably you could probably do that to 120 uh, but I don't think you can actually render at 120 but never mind uh, field order none progressive scan pixel aspect ratio at one um, and output output rotation zero uh, obviously ignore the stereo stereoscopic 3d mode that will basically make your videos all 3d and whatever um next bit pixel formats uh, leave this as 8 bits uh, i do tend to change this a lot but 8 bits seems to be an all-round good suggestion next is a uh, full resolution rendering quality leave that at best field mo field motion blur type leave that at this one this is the top option i'm not even sure how to say that uh yeah none on that one um i've tried out all of these and they all look the same so i just left them as none audio um i've left all this exactly the same as well audio leave the audio and good it is pretty okay now what you want to do once you copy these settings you want to name it just type the name and you what type in what you want to call it here and then press this save button and then you are good to go um what i'm going to do i'm going to grab a clip that i recorded earlier this is just me playing some h1z1 I'm going to give a quick, like, 5 to 10 seconds. That's a minute. <laughs> I'm going to give about a 30 second clip. There we go. So, random clip in the video. I'm going to let this load, because it does take a while, because it is free audio tracks, as I do use OBS to record. Right, so here are here is our video. First thing, as always, you want, every time you put in a video or anything into Sony Vegas, what you want to do, right click on the video track, go down to properties, disable resample, um, check, I, do, I don't know if this does anything, but I do it anyway, it's just a force of habit, check reduce interlace flicker, and uh, also uncheck maintain aspect ratio, if you want to record, if you play a game like Counter Strike in like a smaller window, like borderless or whatever, um, what is it, no, it's a 4 free resolution, as soon as you uncheck that it will stretch it to your project settings resolution, so that is good, just press OK, um, now what the disable resample does is gets rid of the motion blur between the video tracks and makes it look a lot smoother instead of seeing all those weird video effects, um, when you watch other people's videos that have forgotten to do it, I can't watch them, they just give me a headache, but it's it stop. It makes the uh, transition between frames a lot smoother, so you guys can see um, see the videos a lot clearer. But yeah, anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to render out this 30 second clip for you guys. It's just me running around on H1Z1 collecting items. I'm probably going to do some more Let's Plays on H1Z1 because I do enjoy playing this game. Obviously, I'm not the best at it because I do die quite a lot. I've got a lot of clip. I've recorded a lot of clips and have to delete them because I've died like instantly because I'm not that great and I don't have the best luck at finding stuff. As you can see, I'm just scrolling through this. We found an AK there. Um, one thing I also am going to show you is my, um, was it my color correction settings to make the videos look a little bit nicer. Um, there we go. That's the end of the video. Just me picking up an AK. Okay. So what you want to do now, go over to video effects, go down to color curves. Now I've got a preset made up already, but what you want to do is drag the default one onto either your video track or your video itself. And then what you will want to do is copy these settings. I would show you them myself, but it takes a long time to get them perfect. So I don't want to mess with these. But yeah, as you can see, it made the video a little bit brighter, gave it a little bit of a nicer effect. Normally, I would put a sharpen on the video as well, but I think that only really works 
with uh, console games. So I'm just going to show you how it looks. Not that much different. I think if we go full screen, we can see. But yeah, it does look okay on H1Z1, but I don't tend not to. I normally lower it a bit more. Oh, I think the video just went blank. There we go. Should be okay now. But I normally lower it a bit just to see how it looks. That looks okay. And we'll go back to the video. One second. There we go. Okay, so now once you have done all your video effects done your audio done whatever you like um that's another thing i want to explain now these three audio tracks here one of them is for my microphone another one is for my team speak or skype audio and the final one is for such things as um the gameplay audio so as you can see here these ones have some peaks in it that is because this is the audio from h1z1 this is the sounds of me picking stuff up and you got a bit of uh, background noise for my fan because I move my mic out of the way just so I can uh, play a few games. But yeah, as you can see, you can hear the game sounds in the video. But anyway, that is how my tracks work. Normally, what I would do is send my audio over to Audacity, get rid of the background noise, make it sound a lot better. Um, and I'm going to be doing that in this video, so you guys are going to notice the difference. Um, I'm going to leave the Audacity settings for another video if you guys want to see that. So I'm going to get on with the video and go to render settings um now click on the render as button it will load up it takes a bit of time for me for some reason i think i need it like stops responding every time i try so hopefully i can get this sorted out pretty soon but if not um i'll have to work it out okay it's come up on my second screen here now i as you can see i've been testing so many different settings and by far i think if you want a, a quick render I would suggest using Sony AVC MVC uh, with MV4, M2, TS, and AVC settings. I normally use about 20 megabytes or 26. 26 is the ultimate settings. Um, but what we are going to do is go to the YouTube HD 60 here, one the one here. Now, this is actually ba the basic t um, HD. 1080p settings, just set to 60 FPS. As you can see, if we change the uh, default template from Sony Vegas. All I had to do was change this to 60. There we go. And as you can see there, they're basically exactly the same as my settings where they're gone. <laughs> I've lost them. I think I have to scroll down. There it is. But yeah, there are my settings. I'll go through them quickly for you guys so you guys don't have to. So um, include video, obviously that's a given. Unless you're recording just audio, then I would include that uh, frame size uh, HD 1080 so you have a lot of other options here you have HDV which is 4, 1440 by 1080 as well I know a lot of people rendering that it looks weird to, in my opinion but it's up to you how you render your videos um, allow source to adjust frame rate unchecked profile is set to main um, frame rate 60 FPS all you have to do is type in 60 and it will add all the notes for you allow source to adjust frame rate that doesn't really matter you could check or uncheck it if you feel like it field order non-progressive scan just like in the project properties pixel aspect ratio is set to one just like the other settings um a lot of people do do constant bit rate because it keeps the video a set um bit rate for your your videos but i find using the variable bit rate uh with two uh 24 million and 12 million as the average does seem to work a lot nicer as well uh, obviously the parts of your video when not a lot is happening it will lower the quality of them and the rest of it will be at the higher stage of quality. Now, number of slices, set that, leave that as default. It don't really matter. Um, now, this part here in code mode, if you go over to the system and do check GPU, as you can see here, it says CUDA is available. Now, that what that means you can actually, if you have CUDA available, you can use, or OpenCL for that matter, you can actually use your graphics card to render out your videos. It obviously makes the videos render a lot faster. Um, for some reason, mine was set to CPU only. I have a decent CPU in my PC and a decent graphics card, so I can use either. Um, but regardless of that, uh, I would suggest using CUDA if you don't have a great PC. It will put all the strain on your graphics card and then you can leave it for a while and then it'll be rendered quite quickly. Um, but anyway, next we are going to go over to the audio because I like to change this. For some reason, it hasn't saved for me. But what I like to set my audio to is 38,000. 384,000. There we go. Um, not the highest quality because there's these two, there's not no point going that high because it will just take your video a lot longer to render and this one is just a nice healthy medium and uh, next we're going to go to project and video rendering quality set this to best you can also set it to use project settings it doesn't really matter what you use if you set it to best you know your video is going to come out at the best quality possible but yeah 
Anyway, we are going to save this template. Just like in the project properties, you're going to name your template and then hit the save button. I'm going to save it because it didn't save my audio settings for some weird reason. But anyway, we're going to press the OK button. Now, what you will see here, I didn't exactly explain this very well, but if you go to main concept AVC, you will find it will be like this for you. You have to find main concept, just scroll down a little bit and it'll be there. Um, but what you have to do, once you have done all your properties, properties what you want to do is click on this little star here it'll go gold then up here show favorites only you'll check that and it will show all your favorite templates as you can see i've got quite a few other templates that i've been using um the 720p 61st one is pretty good as well so if you guys want to see that in another video let me know um but yeah these have been my render settings i'm going to get render for the rest of the episode but yeah if you did enjoy this video and would like to see some more um, videos or like this, like any tips or tricks on how to render videos, please do let me know by leaving a like, subscribing for more future content, and leave, uh, leave a comment down below what you want to see in a future episode. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to leave this video at the end of the. I'm going to leave this clip at the end of the video so you guys can check out the quality, and I will see you guys in the next one. See you later.